And now the final piece to a project five years in the making. Okay, we get it. You like Star Trek better. I'm not sure that was an accident. To Tim and Moby. What's the deal with digital etiquette? From George. Digital etiquette, or netiquette, is a set of rules for how to behave online. Uh, right, it's a lot like real-life etiquette, which is basically having good manners and treating others with respect. It's just as important in our digital lives, including how we act in online games, or how we communicate in emails, texts, message boards, and social media. All of these platforms let us talk and share instantly wherever we are. But unfortunately, that can make it easy for people to forget their manners. Well, like if you disagree with a friend or if you have strong feelings about a topic. In person, you wouldn't go straight to insults and yelling. A lot of that's because you can see who you're talking to, and so much of our communication is visual. But when you talk online, especially through text platforms like Twitter, you don't get that visual feedback. You might end up being more blunt or forceful than usual. That can trigger the other person to respond in the same way. Before you know it, you're in a full-blown argument. This happens so often, we even have a name for it. It's called flaming, and it can lead to full-on flame wars when people trade insults online. Believe it or not, some people actually cruise around looking to start flame wars. We call these troublemakers trolls. Kind of fitting, huh? Well, I don't think we've become meaner online. It's... Just that it's easier to forget the rules, especially in cases where you're dealing with strangers. On the internet, it's pretty easy to stay anonymous or unidentified. Having a secret identity to hide behind can make people pretty brave. And when all they see of you is a screen name or funny icon, they might forget they're dealing with a real human being. Or a sensitive robot. Well, it's simple. Just like in real life, you should treat other people the way you want to be treated. You wouldn't want somebody to be rude to you, so don't be rude to anyone else. If you're having a disagreement with someone, don't let your emotions get away from you. Stay calm, even if it seems like they're trying to make you mad. There's nothing trolls like more than getting someone to lose their cool. Well, netiquette isn't just about being nice. It's also about communicating clearly. That means keeping emails and texts clear and to the point. It also means making your messages easy to read and understand, which can depend on your audience. Like, some abbreviations and emoticons may be fine with friends, but they're not appropriate in formal communication. And whatever you do, don't write in all capital letters. All caps makes it seem like you're yelling. Well, humor isn't always obvious in writing. Without seeing facial expressions or hearing someone's voice, it can be hard to tell the difference between a friendly joke and real cruelty. One way to make sure you're communicating clearly is to reread what you write before you send it. Check your tone, grammar, and spelling to make sure you really mean to say what you've written. Once your message is out, you usually can't take it back. Lastly, if you want to post something about a friend, like a photo, get their permission first. No! People's personal information is private, and you can really ruin relationships if you reveal something that a friend or a friend's parents don't want on the web. The Internet is a public place. If you wouldn't want a parent teacher, college admissions director, or future employer to see something you post, don't post it. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. And you live long and prosper. You know, if, if my avatar had fingers, you'd see that I'm giving the Vulcan salute.